looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over the best golden tickets that people should be making as well as some of the ones that are kind of likely in my opinion that's the thing the best ones probably are going to be likely there's some guaranteed ones in my opinion some guys we're more than likely going to see some guys that i would personally like to see and on this list you're going to see the guy that i would make if i pulled the golden ticket now guys before we do get into today's video again my mouth still really hurts if i'm talking weird i do apologize this could last um you know at least a, this usually lasts like a week to two weeks for me but the thing is is that you know doing videos every morning does not help so my, my mouth is like burned out after like an hour of talking in the morning but besides the point guys if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn on that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always if you haven't already comment down below if you need coins head over to muck coin bank down below and use code poodle at checkout now moving on to the first guy on the list guys we got tim tebow a lot of people probably have this guy on the list with tim tebow in the game guys it is almost a lock if there was ever a lock like you know people say red black like if there's ever a lock it's tim tebow i would bet a lot of money if i was a, if i was a betting man i'd bet a lot of money that tim tebow is gonna get a golden ticket it would take a rare group of people to get these golden tickets to not make a tim tebow to people super super hyped um you know will the card be great now, that's just the thing let's go into the stats is it just a hype card or if it's good He's a 92 overall. He will get essentially a plus 7 to 8 overall, um, you know, in terms of stats. So his speed, we're probably looking, I would say, around a 94-ish, right? 94 speed at Tim Tebow. That's great. Plus sprinter, 96, 97-ish. Great. Card's going to be great there. Acceleration, probably looking like a 96, 97. That's great as well. Strength, we're looking at close to a 90, which is, that's great. So far, it just, athleticism, his, like, those stats, great. We're not going to, we won't discuss those next passing his throw power with chems and all should get up to a 99 his short accuracy with chems and all will get up to a 99 his medium accuracy chems and all should get up to a 99 deep accuracy will not get up to a 99 so this is what's important here what you're going to want to do on tim tebow is you're probably going to let his short and medium get to about 94 95 on their own and then chem up to go play fake and then probably give him go and then probably give him um, deep accuracy as the boost you get three boosts now here's the other thing if you if, if you don't if you don't want to play it risky right let's say tim tebow only gets a 94 man uh sorry man coverage medium accuracy if he only gets to a 94 potentially or you know 90 or let's say 93 he won't be able to get 99 now i do believe he'll get more than 93 it'll be really messed up if he doesn't but if you want to play it safe you could also upgrade his medium accuracy. but i would say upgrade his deep that's going to give you 99 passing accuracy on deep probably and then 99 across the board, right? Throwing the runs will be close to 99. Play action will be probably mid-low 90s. Throwing the pressure will be mid-90s. Break sack should be high 90s. And now behind the card stats, right? His trucking will be above a 90 naturally. So will his change of direction. So will his ball carry vision. So will his stiff arm. So will his break tackle. So will his juke. And his spin will probably high 80s. Now what would I upgrade? So I would say his deep accuracy more than likely. Maybe his carrying. No, sorry. His carrying is 92. He's fine there. I looked at the wrong stat. His carrying's fine. I'll be close to 99 as well. I'd probably upgrade his deep. Maybe his. This is tough. This is tough with this card because when you look at this card, if you really want to play it safe, you do his deep, his medium, and then you would maybe upgrade on the back of the card somewhere over here. Maybe you go break tackle or something just to make sure it'll be good or juke move. Otherwise, this card's gonna be great, guys. It's gonna be a great quarterback, nonetheless. Now, guys, Saquon Barkley. I think it is so messed up. So messed up that we don't have a Saquon Barkley card in this game besides his LTD. That's literally, we got the, the base league doesn't count because that's what came out with the game. You know, good players get base league start the year. Saquon Barkley has not gotten a card since limited edition. I don't know when this came out. This has got to be sometime like, i say November. If I, if I, if I'm not, I may not, I may be mistaken, but I would say around November. Does it say it on here? Seven months, uh, five months ago. So, okay. November, December, depending on how, how long it's been updated. So, Saquon, will he be good? Saquon Barkley with a plus, again, like a plus seven, plus eight. You, know, you can't power him up, but again, it's a golden ticket. They're almost like 100 overall, so he's going to get 99 speed. Base, probably like a 98 speed, 97 speed, and then plus sprinter, you're fine there. Acceleration, going to be around a 98, 99 as well. Agility, 98, 99 as well. Strength, going to be a high 80. Jumping, going to be around a 99 as well. So, so uh, you know, athleticism, he's going to be great. Trucking will get to the 90 threshold on its own, I believe. Change of direction, will get 99 on its own as well. So this card's looking super solid. Ball carry vision above 90. Stiff arm above 90. Spin above 90. Juke above 90. Juke's going to be high 90. Uh, carrying's going to be, you know, probably like a 94-ish. 
so maybe you want to maybe want to upgrade the Karen brake tackle is going to be mid mid 90s uh catching catching traffic now how do you make this car card an absolute goon here's the thing so once that like i said carrying's gonna only be like a mid 90 so maybe you want to boost his carrying but that's not going to make him crazy to other things right so maybe you leave all that right at the end of the day his change of direction is gonna be good his speed's gonna be good and his brake tackle is gonna be good now we're looking at the back of the car guys i would probably boost his catching kind of like alvin kamara so you get that 90 you probably get like a 90 catching so you're able to go ahead and actually get that crazy catching to make him like a great receiving back as well and then maybe if you want as well you could also boost his medium route running again do you run medium routes with him if you don't then you don't touch that some people like to run like some certain routes with running backs put them out on like five wide but if you don't run any of that guys i would say catching more than likely um short running will get to 80 on its own so you just leave that i don't think you need crazy crazy route running i think that's more than okay so i think catching will get about 90 spec will be above 80 um short running will be above 80 naturally on its own as well so that leaves you with two right you put it somewhere here now i'm not a big trucker so that really comes down to a lot of you guys on what you prefer there now remember saquon also has the weight so he's gonna be good on next gen and current gen that's just the beauty of this card he'll have the weight to barrel people down and you know fall forward but he also have the agility and everything else so i would probably on that on that note guys probably maybe max out um there's not much right maybe, maybe you just go for the boosted brake tackle to get him to 99 then maybe you just boost the trucking as well get that to 99 as well just to get everything up there because everything's gonna be high on its own so it really comes down to that now guys if i had a golden ticket my pick personally actually would be saquon barkley so that's that's, that's my guy if i ever pulled one i mean probably won't but if i did that'd be my guy next guys we got isaiah simmons Another guy that I could see very like getting he's six foot four safety. It's a fan favorite. He had he's had a great run in Madden 21. A lot of people loved him. A lot of people got him. But the thing is, is this. He's six foot four. He's a monster. He's played well already, so we already know a better car will be even better. And he has some stats that could use some improvement, which would make him crazy, right? So we, we start here. Speed. If you get a he gets a plus uh, five overall, he'll have 99 speed with sprint and everything. He'll have 99 excel. He'll have like 95, 96 agility. He'll get to about 80 strength on his own. He'll have about 99 jumping and above 90 play rec. Now, the play recognition is a little bit low, but that's the thing. Is he going to be a user card or is he going to be an in coverage card? Probably a user, so the play rec doesn't exactly matter too much. Man coverage. He didn't get to 99. He's going to get to like a 94 on its own. And you coming up with lockdown. Zone coverage probably gets to a 99 on its own. If it doesn't, you can come up with lockdown as well. Press will be mid, mid 90s. Uh, probably mid, yeah, probably mid 90s when everything's said and done. Hit power gonna be 99 in zone tackling will be like a 95 pursuit will be about a 97 block shoot will be like probably low 80s catching will be about a 76 catching traffic will be about a 68 and spec catch will be like a 72 so what are the big deals here right if we're talking user he got 99 hit power he got 99 speed what else do you need i would probably recommend you improve the catching get that catching you, you, if you boost that catching that might get up to high 90 you know sorry high 80 low 90 so i would boost the catching I would probably boost the block shed in case, you know, on run, you just you click off him and let him run. Block shed, that'll probably get to high 80, low 90 as well. And then I'd probably boost maybe the spec catch right now. If you want him as a coverage guy, you're probably boosting the press or the play rec. Probably the play rec. So I would either, if you want him as a coverage guy, you're going to boost the play rec. That'll get up to a 99 on its own. Um, you know, this will get to 99, this gets to 99. Now, if you're going to be a user strictly, probably block shed, spec catch, catch and traffic. Or, ca or, you know, or catching, right? Depends. I would probably go catching, spec, catch, and block shed. Just for the reason of I've seen guys with high spec and catching like Deion Sanders, and they make just some crazy interception plays that, like, it's almost, it almost looks like they're the wide receiver at times. And then next, guys, for the next card on this list, we're going to be heading on over to a tight end, Darren Waller. We always get tight ends, guys. Now, why go for Zach Gentry for being a little bit taller? I'm going to go with Darren Waller. the Because that's the thing, too. People don't understand. It's kind of risky to pick certain golden tickets, right? Like, when you pick, like, 60 overall bums, you really don't know how they're going to proceed with you know upgrading them you can go up their base card but you don't have like when you're there this time and overall you have a good idea of what you could do to these cards like darren waller maybe one stat away from being the best guy and like one of the best receiving get threats in the game right or the best dual purpose tight ends right so darren waller we know we're getting six foot six so he's got the crazy height already doesn't matter he's 255 so darren waller with the plus four increase would have i would say 95 speed 95 96 speed so that means powered up and chemed up or no it's no no power i'm sorry chemed up with abilities and everything, he'll probably get to about, I would say, a 97, 98 speed. So that's great. Maybe even 99, depending, right? Let's say he gets a plus, four, uh, plus you know, just plus three. 95, we'll get 97, 98. That's great. His Excel, about 90, uh, 95, 96. Agility will be close to 90. 
Jumping will be above 90. Awareness will be like 95. Now, here, here's where we're talking, right? These stats, these stats are max. He's going to have 99 catching. He'll get 99 catch in traffic. He'll probably get 99 spec catch. He'll probably get 99 short running. He'll probably get high 90 medium route running and then mid high 90 deep route running and almost 99 release. Do you touch any of these stats? Probably not. Now, it depends when we go behind the, uh, behind the car we see. So blocking. This will all be his run blocking will all be high 70s. His pass blocking will all be low 70s. His after the catch. His after the catch is going to be important here, right? So this is what I would probably end up changing. So I wouldn't touch a spinner juke. I don't really care about all that stuff too much on a tight end per se. Now, depends on what we have left. So his break tackle is only 71. That's really not the greatest. I would touch one thing. So come over here. I would boost his run blocking. Get that up to like a mid 80. That makes him a dual purpose tight end that can block and run. You know, block and catch. Great. Then I would probably touch his change of direction. Get that up. If you if you boost change of direction, it'd be like mid high 90. Mid low to mid high 90. Somewhere between there. And that's important, guys, because with that change of direction, that means that you can start like you can start just like swerving people with Darren Waller, which you weren't really able to do before. As well as, guys, it leaves you with one left. Now, do you touch juke or break tackle? It really depends on how you play. I think I prefer break tackle so he can just, you know, break with his height and weight. With, you know, a mid-80 mid break tackle, you probably break a lot of stuff. And if not, you go juke. Get the thing above mid-90, and then you can make some juke plays on him on your own. But juking this year is a bit weird if, if you know, you don't have an ability. But uh, moving on, guys, we have DK Metcalf. Going to keep the last two a little bit quicker. Metcalf's just going to be a fun guy. Seems like the kind of name that could get an upgrade at this point in the year. Um... Real quick, guys, what would I boost on a Metcalf card? I would probably boost, if you look down here, right? So, on on paper, guys, a Metcalf card with plus 5 ends up with 99 short route running, ends up with close to 99 deep route running, and close to 99 medium route running. I would probably... See, the thing is, if you want 99 route running, you're going to have to probably touch medium route running more... No, it depends. I'm sorry. If you want 99 route running across the board, you probably got to touch one of them. Because I suspect they'll give us, like, 97 deep route running with him. They'll give us 99 short running, and they'll give us, like, a 95 medium. Which would actually let you play fake, get them up to 99s, but he won't get a 99 deep. So it comes down to you guys there. If you want to waste the bucket, you know, if you want to, well, want to waste the upgrade, you can do deep at running. Maybe you don't touch anything there, right? What I would personally do on a DK Metcalf card, look at the back of the card, I would do is change the direction. Got to get that up above 90. A six foot three guy that can move like that, going to be crazy. His juke, everything's good. Maybe you even boost his juke, get that up to 99. 99 juke, go above 90, change the direction. And then maybe you even boost his trucking as well get that above 90 just make him an all-around after the catch monster and last guys we got harold carmichael he had to be on the list he's six foot eight at wide receiver my only concern is going to be the speed i will he get 99 i'm not entirely sure Let, let's assume it's a plus seven right a plus seven he'll get a 97 speed plus sprinters in 99 um if he only gets 96 it'll be like you know 98 ish i think he'll get to the 99 possibly more than likely so he'll get 99 speed and then he where will i boost him so across the board He'll end up with high 90 catching and spec catch and route running. The issue is, guys, his medium route running may not get to 99. So the thing is, it's a plus 7, though. So it may it may get there, it may not. So I think it's similar to DK, where his short will get to 99, his medium will get to 99, but his deep will not. His deep will fall short, and you can't go deep on him. You use play fix. So I probably just wouldn't touch anything here again. Go behind the card. His change of direction, you got to boost that, guys. A 6'8 guy that can move. Again, that'd be pretty crazy. You give a change of direction a boost. His juke move a boost. And that's probably it there. You got one left. You can either toss it on if you really want to. Uh, you can toss it on like a deep route running to make sure he gets it. Or you can always toss it again. You can just see he already has change of direction. Juke, maybe toss it on break tackle, get him a 99. But guys, those are my guys. So we got Tim Tebow, Saquon Barkley, Isaiah Simmons, Darren Waller, DK Metcalf, and Carmichael. How we've been able to change like some physicals, they, uh, Derek Henry would have been an absolute next gen beast. But for the reason that we can't touch many physicals, like I don't, I don't think, I think agility doesn't count, right? I think that counts like a physical, so you can't touch it. If you're gonna touch uh, Derek Henry's agility. It would been really good, but that's what it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Comment down below who's the golden ticket that you would choose. If you had one choice or not, who would you pick? And who on this list do you think needs to be replaced? That's about it. If you guys need coins, head over to my coin bank down below and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.